What's going on guys? In this video, I'm gonna take one of the hardest pulling dogs and transform him from this to this. Let's get into it. Now pulling on the leash is normal and natural, but would you believe me if I told you that dogs are actually supposed to be pulling on the leash? Dogs have four legs, we have two. Taking an animal and teaching them how to walk on a leash with a rope is difficult and it takes a lot of experience and some tricks that we're gonna go over in this exact video. Now, most dog owners fail because they simply don't know where to start. Like these guys. We live in Brooklyn and sort of walking kind of up and down the sidewalks. We're passing by dogs a lot. I've had to start to kind of just cross the street. He's just frustrated with the leash and frustrated with, I don't know. Even right now, he's like, wants to come see me and he's excited and he's stimulated and the leash can create frustration. And obviously being as big as he is, that's probably not fun. No. Not only is it a hassle to have your dog dragging you all over the place, but this could mean that you also have an unhealthy relationship with your dog. So make sure you watch this until the end to know for sure. So uh, why don't we head on back and we'll start to get to work. So you'll come. And this is what you see, right? Yeah. Okay. He's strong, so he yeah. takes advantage of that power. Now, before we dive into this, it's important for you guys at home to know the fundamentals. So does your dog actually know what the leash even is? I know that that sounds crazy, but in order for a dog to walk nicely on the leash, they need to know what it is. So take a look at this clip we did in the Kickstarter course. This is very simple, guys. The objective is, is to have a little pinch hallway where he has to go through, and you're gonna apply pressure. The moment he commits to that pressure, he's gonna walk through without any pressure. So it teaches him to turn pressure off. All he has to do is comply with whatever direction the leash is going. Very basic principles to applying leash pressure. This will help with many things in the future. So watch here. Pressure, release, good. Now you guys only need to work on that for a few sessions to really let that sink in. Step two, which is introducing the heel, but before we introduce it, we need to know what it is. So when we ask our dogs to sit, what does that mean? We want our dogs to sit nicely. What does heel mean? Well, a lot of people don't even know that the dog is supposed to be at your heels. That's what the heel command is. It's important to know that as we continue. All right, you guys, some of the things that you will need to teach the heel command to any dog, motivation, treat pouch, whatever the hell leash and collar you guys wanna use, it doesn't matter. The slip was really great for him. The prong crawler was really great for Dolio. So those are the things you'll need to get started. As soon as he crosses my leg, he's getting pressure. So I'm teaching him how to walk nicely. Ah. So the ah is like a warning, okay? You're about to pass that line. Once he starts stopping with me, that's when he's gonna start getting paid heavily for making those decisions. The corrections will go away. The rewards will take over verbally and externally with food. Heel. So now I'm just gonna drop the leash down a little bit more so it's clearer to us, you know, what, what decisions he's making. Nice work, good heel, yes. Yes, good. Good job, buddy. There you go. Good. Ah, ah. Yes, good, nice. So I'm starting to get that engagement with them. Good boy. One of the biggest misconceptions is step three. Once you introduce the heel command, that does not mean that your dog needs to be in a heel for the entire walk. So making sure that you have a break command with your dog is absolutely crucial. Not only is it completely unrealistic for your dog to walk in a heel all the time, but it's simply not fair to you as well. So the break command is the next and third most biggest thing when introducing the heel command. Now we just had a dog that came in today that pulls even worse than Dolio. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use all the advice that we talked about in this video to train that dog right now. So come with me and let's see if what I'm actually saying works. I'm gonna start off with just the slip leash, making sure it's nice and snug right behind the dog's ears. And we're gonna start off with a little bit of leash pressure like we went over. A little pressure there. Good, good, nice work. Coming out back this way, a little pressure. Yes, good. So I pop a little bit of pressure as he's going the other way. And the moment he physically commits to me, I hold out my hand and verbally pay him and then externally pay him with a little bit of beef liver. All right, now we're gonna start introducing the verbal heel. First thing we're gonna do is a little tune up. Heel, I'm gonna change directions. Harvey heel, good, yes. A little verbal praise, Harvey heel. Good, little pop there on the, on the collar, heel. Little pop there on the collar, good. What we want him to do, inside turn, is pay attention to us when we turn. Harvey heel. So the objective is for him to turn with me without any type of pressure. Whenever we're using corrections, 
We always want those corrections to go away. If you're constantly correcting a dog for something, chances are the dog isn't learning and you may be doing something wrong. So we want the dog to physically commit to us and emotionally and mentally commit to us without any pressure. That means the dog is learning and the corrections did its job. All right, so now we're gonna be introducing the heel moving forward without the directional changes. And I'm just gonna be using my leash pressure back. As soon as the dog crosses my legs, we're gonna be adding a little verbal ah uh -uh as a warning and then we're enforcing it with our leash. Ah, boom. You guys see as soon as he crossed my legs here, he got that quick pop. Heel, good, ah, good. Now we're gonna see if he's gonna learn from that heel. Ah, ah. Yes, buddy, good. And we're gonna pay him for that. Okay, break. Good heel, buddy. Heel. Good. Nice. Ah, uh ah. -uh. Yes, buddy. Perfect job. Okay, break. Now it's really important that you, good job, buddy, good man. It's really, really important that you guys are rewarding the dog when they're doing the heel. I see so many people, including my clients, when their dog is actually walking nicely, like he just did, they're silent. Reward your dog, it's so important. Good heel, Harvey, well done. Look how much it does for them. Making sure we reward them is such a big piece to this picture. I'm gonna give you an industry secret that nobody really talks about. When you're introducing any type of obedience to your dog, like the heel video we're talking about now, there's different levels. There's one, two, and three. Easy, intermediate, and hard. Do not go from level one to three. You will fail, you will feel frustrated, you might even give up on the challenge. Make sure level one is in your house with not a lot going on. Level Level two may be a basement or possibly even outside in the driveway with a little bit of distraction, but not too much. Level three is reality. They're gonna talk about squirrels, chipmunks, other dogs, etc. Make sure you go up in your levels incrementally and master them separately before you go out to level three. All right, you guys, so now the big test happens. Everybody wants to be able to walk their dogs in a realistic environment around other dogs. We're about to go jump in group class with Dolio. It's gonna be the biggest challenge yet, and he's come so far, but this is gonna really tell us if it's gonna be sustainable and successful at home. All right, you guys, if you wanna win a one-on-one -on -one virtual session with me, all you guys have to do is turn on your notification bell, hit up this like button, and leave a comment in the comments below. Right here is the winner of last week's video. Make sure you DM us on Instagram, and you guys can win next week's video, so make sure you do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful to you guys at home. Remember, subscribe to my channel. We put up videos like this every single week. Subscribe and say hello for my boy Hawk as well. We're on the road to a million freaking subscribers this year. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I'll see you next time. Bye.